Hey guys, Bad Space Wolf here. And, oops, sorry guys, I gotta kind of focus him in a little bit. There we go. Uh, if you guys uh, remember back to the unboxing video I did earlier this week, I, or should I say since, well, it's now, I'd say, well, today, Monday, Monday morning, last Monday, so last week, uh, from my unboxing video on that, I had a uh, Dwarf Lord with uh, shield and hammer in that. And I was going to paint him up in that, and, well, here he is now. All done. Alright. I gotta say, guys, I'm still gawk at this guy for a while, so forgive me if I kind of stop in the middle of talking, just because I can't get over on how well I painted this guy up. He's actually one of the best models I've painted up in a lot, in a, actually, not in a long time, but actually one of the best models I've painted up yet. Hopefully I get more, more good quality painting out of the, uh, out. But, uh, enough, uh, bullshitting. Time to get down to the business. Uh, what I use. I base coated in black. On Sprue and that, he's done it just how I do all the other models I do. Except for Dark Vengeance, which I'm kind of loathing that right now. But back to the back to this guy. We're not talking about Dark Vengeance, we're talking about this guy. Uh, I did first. Uh, I did all the metallics, all the like metal work, like all the golds and the, bra and the brasses first. And then I worked on his, uh, which the golds and brasses are the gold... Was done in done in Eric Armor Gold. The brass was done in the. Hold on, where is it? It's ah. Hush it, uh, copper. And then the uh, silver parts was done in just a uh, straight up a uh, silver metal uh, silver metallic paint. And then for his outer tunic. I I worked on his uh, tunic next, which you can hardly see it, but I wanted to use a bright color to kind of pop, uh, to give it representation, which is a blue sapphire on the top, and then the, on the inside was, oh, uh, I don't have the paint around me right now, it's a uh, something pink, I think, I can't remember, it's having a brain fart, uh, the boots were done in a toffee brown. And then shield. Uh, if you actually look at this, it's actually got. I kind of looked at some of the box art that was from that, and what. And actually, no, not the box art. I actually went on the GamesWorkshop.com. That way, I could actually get the full 360 model spin of this guy. That way, I could just get a look at him. And uh, I. The shield, it kind of, I can't remember what the shield looked like right now. It's been a while since I've looked at that model. But what I did for the shield was, is if you can, you can actually see it. I faded it really much. I used the, I heavily washed it in the oil. I did this, uh, did the, under the cheeks, blue. And the top is silver. Just kind of like what his helmet looks like, but kind of give it the look of his, uh, army color. Like his tunic color. So if I ever did any of more of these guys, their tunics would be blue. Also, and if it's not a tunic, guys, forgive me, guys. It's just how I'm just, I don't know. Don't rant on me. But anyways, uh, back to the rest of this guy. Uh, for his beard, I dry brushed it gray, uh, light gray to kind of give him that old, uh, like he's old, that older look. Uh, his skin tone was done in uh, Eric... Erklin, uh shade, uh, flesh shade, and uh, this is what I actually liked on the inside of this. Uh, this right here, and this here were done gold, and the outside frame of this was done in copper, Heshit copper, and yeah. Oh, and his horns were dry brushed sandstone on his helmet. But yeah, guys, I I still can't get over this guy. Let me know what you think of him. And yeah, 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, this is Bad Space Wolf here. Peace.